Hey guys, Greg here. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing something that I got from a company called Dice Guardian. Shout out to them for supplying me these products to review. We're going to unbox their dice holders and take a look at their dice and give them a quick little rundown. Let's get into it. Hey folks, before we get started, if you want to click that like, subscribe, notification button, it's three small clicks for you, but means the world to us. Uh, with that said, let's get started. So we have three little things here. We have a pair of dice and a couple of, uh, I guess they're like, they're like dice holders or like dice displays. I don't know what you would call them. These two ones are based on Critical Role and this one is more of an original one. So we have an Arcane Skull, Fresh Cut Grass, and an Ashton Graymore. Uh, so we're gonna take a look at these. They also sent me a dice set that they make as well, which should be pretty cool. And the cool thing about having something so small is, where is my knife? I just ate it out. Oh, it's over there. The cool thing about having stuff that's small is I get to pull up my nice camera, my nice lens, and get really close depth of field shots that you'll see during this unboxing. So let's get into it. We'll go from small to big. So let's start with their dice set first. So this is their Money and Honey dice from Dice Guardians. Comes in a nice little box. Oh, wow. Beautiful. It comes in. A, it's a tin. It's a. It's a tin. It comes in a tin. Oh wow, that's pretty. Oh wow, it has like shades of dark green in it, and then it has like gold flakes in it too. A little hard to read. Not impossible. I've seen worse dice, but it comes with your standard D20, your D12, D8, D4, percentile dice, D12 and a D6. So there's a full set of dice you need to role play, play most, to play most uh, tabletop games that require the D20 system. One thing I want to say about these dice is they feel very solid. It's a really nice acrylic that, they, that they've used. Like you can just kind of tell by how nice the edges are and how sharp the corners are and the weight as well. Like they feel good. They feel good to roll. They feel good in your hand. They feel like they're real dice. So some of those, che those cheaper dice feel, use a really cheap acrylic or just a, just a different type of acrylic to make it feel weird. This is a, a really nice and I, a really nice acrylic, and I do like the gold flakes in the middle add a lot. You can actually see the number on the inside too, which is kind of cool. They can't, I guess they could be a little hard to read. No, 19, let's see, 19, 17, 20. Wow, that's a really good roll. Uh, I mean, I read all those pretty instantly when I found out four, so maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's the way the green reflects off the bottom that makes them readable, because I take them up, they become more clear, which is kind of cool, but that's a, that's actually a really nice set of dice. It comes with its own carrying case, its own tin, and they all have their own little cutouts for the tin. So I can put everything back, hopefully the way that I found it. So that was their Money and Honey dice. You can get them on their website. I'll leave a link for this in the description below as well. Too much stuff around me. So next we're gonna do their Arcane Skull. See what this is. So this is basically like a favorite D20. This could be probably used to put stuff on the table as inspiration or on your gaming table just to look cool. Oh, it's battery operated. Okay. I thought for sure it was going to be USB operated. Oh, wow. It actually looks really oh, so get Let's get some of their dice out. Actually, get their D20 and put it in there. It has like a skull, the sword, very animated and very cartoony. I like that. And then, of course, it turns on and it looks like it, it, it just it runs off batteries. I don't think it comes with batteries. So let me get some batteries. So I'm back. It runs off two AAA batteries on the bottom and there is a panel with a screwdriver. I have a very precise set of tools uh, for my computer and like watch repair and stuff like that. So I had to use a really small <laughs> Phillips head screwdriver. This thing is tiny, but that's, but I got it off and I can put the two AAA batteries in there now. And then it probably needs to be closed. Oh, unless these batteries are dead. There we go. Oh wow, it's actually pretty bright. And then you can hit the button. Wow, that's really bright. And then you can change the color on the inside, it's like red or yellow or greenish, deep green, deep blue. Ooh, I like purple. Purple's a good one. Then white or like a bluish purple, and then off. So I, that's actually kind of cool. I'm gonna go to to, to purple because I like purple. There you go. And then you take your D20 like there from their honey and dice set and kind of pop it in their mouth, and it's meant to kind of stay a little bit snug in there. And there you go, then you have a dice holder for your table, right? I do wish, you know, I really thought it was USB powered because like that way you can just leave it plugged in all the time, uh, but like these batteries could probably last for hours because LEDs don't take that much power, but still, I wish it was uh, USB powered because you can just leave it on all the time, like on your desk, right? Or on the table that you play in, which is kind of cool. But you could use this as like inspiration, right? If someone wants to use inspiration, you can put their dice in there as like their inspirator or whatever, but it's cool. I do like that it's 
Hi. Sadie, please don't lie down. Cat's gonna hang with me now apparently. So yeah, that's really cool. I like the LED. I do wish it was USB powered or at least have the option to be USB. Uh, probably the price point was you know, a little cheaper to do it the other way. Let's see what else we have. Let's go to fresh cut grass. So from Critical Role, Bell's Hells, his railroad fresh cut grass is an auto automaton built to heal both physical and emotional wounds. Display your favorite D20 and protect it from rogues and barbarians with fresh cut grass. Illuminating LED light from the base, uh, FCG shines with your favorite hue. Or you can cycle through all seven colors for the ultimate radiant experience. That's that's cool. On the back, it says D20 not included, so you do need a D20. Who doesn't have a D20? I have like 20 D20s. I'm gonna need more batteries. There we go, beautiful. Now we have the batteries in and we can turn them on. So of course he has seven different colors. Looks like there's also a cycling mode. Yep. Even on the cycling mode, it's kind of cool. Cycling mode for him, and then of course, oh, shh, I hit, <laughs> I hit the button. There's a button on the back, and a switch on the back of the control. So that radiant mode. It's like the D20 out of the arcade skull, and put him in here. So he's guarding the D20. He looks great. Like this is actually a really good sculpt work and really good cast work, uh, especially since he has like these these really small like little uh, things for the arms. But I mean, the quality of the, the cast is really good. The base is fun. It says Fresh Cut Grass, Smiley, Day TA, uh, the Critical Role uh, show logo, and then some other stuff on the back. Uh, designation Protected, like little details there. He looks really cool though. Like I could really appreciate a lot of effort went into the design of these so far. So there's two of them. And you can see the dice, the, the, guys, the arcade skull's a little smaller than, uh, than the Fresh Cut Grass one. So. We're gonna move them over to the side. I'm gonna leave them on. And we're gonna move it to Ashton Graymore. He's also a character of Critical Role. Oh wow, they just get bigger. They just keep getting bigger in size. <laughs> the scale is really big on this one. Holy crap, wow. All right, whoa. It's actually really good quality. Whoever does their casting, actually really good quality stuff. All right, so again, these have to have batteries on the, on the bottom, so I'm gonna take these out here with this little screwdriver. Again, he looks great. Like, he really looks great for the scale. The paint's great. Uh, the quality of the resin is actually really impressive, too. It's a little bit malleable. Not a lot, but a little bit. So, like, if it did fall from a heavy table, chances are it will probably not bounce, but it won't snap right off. It's not as a sensitive resin or a sensitive plastic or hard plastic. I do like... Uh, Grey Moore's mace, it's a translucent plastic. It contrasts the figure a little bit better. His paint looks great. He has little like buckles coming out of his belt. He's like, looks like he has a lot of separate pieces here. His sash or his, his yeah, his sash on the back too is a separate piece. He has a belt that looks to be a separate piece. So, like, there are like, multiple pieces to this uh, to this uh, model. It looks really impressive. I love the whirlwind effect with the little <laughs> the little bricks. It's unfortunate that you can see like the bricks like where they stick in because they need something to grab onto, otherwise they'd, they'd fall off the but like, and then you're, it's a little unfortunate you can see that, but it's something stupid little. And the bottom it says, Ash to gray bar, I'd feel better if I hit something, Critical Role logo, and a couple of his stuff on the back. And then you can take your D20 and put it in the back. Like that, just like that. These are really cute. These are really, really cute little dice holder things and I really do enjoy them. Out of all of these, since I've, I've, since I've never really, it's not that I haven't been a fan, I've just never gotten around to watching Critical Role. I like the Arcade Skull the best, just because it's like the classic fantasy type of thing that I really do enjoy. I just like the look of it, its simplicity. Uh, these look great too, especially the the grass cut ones. It's like, he's all flat plastic, but he still looks great because the molds and the design work is so nice on him. Especially the back, he has a lot of things going on with his backpack, which is pretty impressive. Oh, and they also sent me something else before I forget. They also sent me this adventure journal, right? But like, it looks like a notebook at a first glance, but if you open it, it has graph paper in the back and <laughs> and it has like little D&D &D slot things and some blank pages and some other cool tabletop things that might help you with uh, notes. It has line pages, graph pages, spell casting, cantrips, little uh, places to draw your character profile. This is actually kind of cool. At first I saw it and I was like, oh, 20 bucks for a journal, that seems pricey, but when you open it up on the inside and it has a bunch of cool utility stuff in it, like places, places to put your spell cast and your character stats. I have a friend who could really make good use of this. They really do enjoy taking notes, they big note takers, and they like to have everything physical in front of them, like written down instead of digital. Cause I like the digital stuff, but some people like the pen and paper feel, man. It's D and D, like even has like all the deck stuff there. It has everything you'd need to play tabletop games, whether it be Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons or whatnot. Okay, I'm presently surprised by this thing. It's actually pretty, pretty cute. 
pretty cute little little adventure journal. Well guys, that was a nice little showcase from a company called Dice Guardians. You can get all of the stuff on their website. I'll leave a link in the description below. And as far as pricing goes, the bigger uh, D20 holders statues that light up are $50 MSVP. Uh, and then the um, the smaller one, the Arcane Skull is, then the smaller one, the Arcane Skull is $40 at retail. So it's 50, 50, $50 for the big ones, $40 for the skull. I personally like the skull the best. Uh, the journal is $20 and the dice set is 30 and it comes in a nice collectible tin. Uh, high quality dice, nice plastic, nice hard plastic, uh, and a fun design uh, that I thought would be hard to read, but if I were rolling it on the table, I could read it perfectly fine. So joke's on me. Uh, anyway, guys, go support them. I'll leave a link in the description below. If you enjoyed this unboxing and review, be sure to click that like, subscribe, notification button. It's three small clicks for you, but means the world to us. And then more for unboxing and reviews. You're already in my place. You're on shacknews.com.